Minasan. So this is Terminal Black Box that could have been the official GNOME terminal, but unfortunately isn't written in the official GNOME lang. Anywho, now if we go to preferences, we'll see a few themes to pick from. One very nice thing here is that themes will paint the full app and not just the terminal. On the bad side, we don't have many colors to choose, but all those are about to change. We're going to use the Go project that is very active and with more than 7,000 stars on GitHub. And it has more than 200 color schemes, and we're gonna get every single of them in seconds. Copy the installation command for start, but next we'll open Tilex to continue. Reason is that Go doesn't offer support for Blackbox, but it's super easy to open a pull request and fix that. Tilex isn't a hard requirement, of course. Go script supports many more terminal emulators together with manual installation. Okay, Go will list all the available themes, then it will prompt us what we want to install, and then we'll select everything. Moreover, we'll go with the color schemes option. That might take some time, especially if you're poor with bad PCs, but poverty must be punished. When finally done, go back to black box and open the themes folder. Oh, and of course, this is the flat pack black box. Then, we'll open a new tab and navigate under .config and Tilex schemes, which is the place Go extracted the JSON files. Select everything and move them to black box directory that commonly in such apps is inside the sandboxed structure. For applying the changes, we need to restart the app, which is very annoying when that still happens in 2023. And meanwhile, another annoying thing is that we can't see the theme names unless we hover, so when we have lots of schemes, it's hard to find what we want. Eventually, Black Box is a seriously cute app, but it could have been officially cuter if it was made in Rust. 